Sometimes, though, when you walk into the grocery store, the labels and the stickers and the stamps on food packaging can be a little overwhelming. And every so often, it's actually quite misleading. Now, to cut through some of the confusion, we are joined today on Anmum Pedia Pro 3 Coffee Group by nutrition advocates Laura Tari and Maya Lee. Good morning to you both. Hi. Hi. Lovely to have you here. This is a very interesting subject too. Um, Laura, let's start with you. What kind of information is currently available to household shoppers? Yeah, I mean, packaging these days is, it's got more information than ever before and it can be kind of understandably quite overwhelming, but it does help us be a more, a more informed shopper and help us make the right choices for our family. So um, some, some products these days um, have what's called a QR code and this gives us more information about the product. So what you can do is you can download a QR um, app on your phone and they're free to do and you, you use um, you find the QR code on the back of your package there and you scan use a camera to scan the scan the code there and it, what it does it brings up information about the product onto your phone and information such as where the product was manufactured um, where it was packaged and we can and, see that there now wow. yeah yeah and so and also maybe information about product recalls so it helps us know whether the product is authentic just a little bit more information. Yeah, yeah, more than you'd seen on, on the package itself. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. Um, my, is it reassuring to know the production history of the food that we're feeding to our little ones? Oh, absolutely. Um, I think how food is produced is equally as important as the ingredients. Um, I think it's really cool that um, mums and dads um, are you know, really into buying organic food for their toddlers. Um, However, some of the um, shelf stable products are produced using high heat pasteurisation and what that means is those products are cooked uh, at over 100 degrees for a longer period of time. Now that's done to kill the bacteria um, but that process also um, with that process also there may be some nu nutrient loss so to ensure that your children are eating uh, nutrient dense foods just look for meals or go for meals that um, have been produced uh, using uh, really gentle cooking methods like steaming or slow cooking. Okay. Um, Laura, do you think it's really important to know where our food is, how, how it's grown and processed? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, as a mum myself, I've become more and more interested about with where the food my kids eat come from and how it got there. And the, how it's grown and the processing actually can affect the nutritional quality of the food. And for example, um, the soil that the food's grown in can change its nutrient profile. And, and we know that um, countries have different farming practices and different safety standards. So there is definitely a more of a demand for lo a locally produced food. Yeah, and soil can be quite a major thing these days. Yeah, yeah, what's definitely. lacking in it all. Yeah, or in well, it. exactly. Mm. Um, Maya, trust and transparency, they're major factors in shopping decisions. Uh, for me, they are, and I think for mm. most, yeah, most people, so. are they for you as well? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I, I really value authenticity. Yeah. I think brands that really like know who they are and actually make no apologies, mm. except for when they make a mistake. <laughs> um, I think, like, you know, brands that are able to stand up and actually take accountability for some yeah. of their boo-boos, um, I really applaud that, and I think that kind of what makes them a bit more lovable. Um, I also think... Um, I don't know, brands that um, sort of improve my quality of life and make me feel good about buying them and they're just sort of doing good in the world and I think that good could be mm. anything from yeah. an environmental perspective, a product perspective or a service pr perspective. I mean, if they make me feel nice and warm and fuzzy inside, and I kind they, of love them. <laughs> well, well, exactly, and if it's going to stop um, sort of the, the, the waste that's going on in the world too, yeah. that's mm. a really good thing. Mm. Totally. Um, so Laura, can you give us some tips on reading food labels? Yeah. I mean, what do we need to look for just quickly, a few things? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot of information there, yeah. but what you need to do is go to the back of the pack, and on the back of the pack is an ingredients list and a nutrition information panel, and that's going to give you a lot of information. So the ingredients list is basically everything that's been put into the product and it's in weight order from biggest to smallest. So if you see sugar or salt at the beginning of the list, that's probably a food you want to avoid. Right. Um, the nutrition information panel, it's um, a really great tool to help compare products nutritionally. So you want to look at the 100 gram column or the 100 mil column because that will give you a fair comparison. And you want to look for... Um, lower values for things like calories and fat and sugar and sodium and then higher values for things like protein, fibre, vitamins and minerals and, and take note of the serving size as well because this can vary from brand to brand Yeah, and yeah. it might be actually larger than what you'd normally serve yourself. Yeah. So Right, yeah. or sometimes you can see a packet and you go, hmm, that's a one serving for yeah. me, it's actually meant to be three servings. Well, exactly. Yeah. exactly. Okay, yeah. that's mm -hmm. a good thing to look out for. Yeah. Hey, that's been enlightening talking to you both today. Thank no you so worries. much. Awesome. Cool, thank you. The Coffee Group is brought to you by Anmanpedia Pro 3. The 
only toddler milk with no added sugars. Now, you, if you have any worries that you'd like addressed by our parenting panel, message us on the cafe Facebook page. Now, one contributor will win this cool ebook from Anne Mum that allows you to record your voice reading the story. Wouldn't it be absolutely amazing to win this ebook? Wouldn't it just? That's one I prepared earlier. Congratulations to Emily Taylor. Thank you for your suggestion. Your ebook is on the way.